Whether you're looking to declutter your life, reduce stress, or just make things a little easier, these tips are for you. So let's dive right in. Let's start with a classic. One in, one out. Whenever you buy something new, get rid of something old. This rule is simple, but so effective in preventing clutter from creeping back into your space. Did you get a new pair of shoes? Say goodbye to the old pair you haven't worn in months. Easy, right? Next up, set limits. Whether it's for your wardrobe, books, or kitchen gadgets, decide how much is enough and stick to it. This can help you control your spending and keep your space clutter-free without feeling deprived. Now this one's a game changer. It's called the 90-90 rule. If you haven't used something in the last 90 days and don't see yourself using it in the next 90, it's time to let it go. This can apply to clothes, tech gadgets, or even random kitchen tools you don't actually need, as well as anything that you buy. Minimalism doesn't mean cheap. It means intentional. Instead of buying 10 mediocre things, invest in a few quality pieces that last. Whether it's your wardrobe, furniture, or tech, focus on quality over quantity. It'll save you money and space in the long run. Why wait for spring cleaning when you can declutter in just a few minutes every day? Dedicate five to 10 minutes daily to clear out unnecessary items. Trust me, it's way less overwhelming than doing a big purge once a year. Do you ever feel unsure about whether to get rid of something? Create a maybe box. If you're on the fence, put the item in the box and revisit it in 30 days. Minimalism isn't just about your physical space. Your digital life matters too. Unsubscribe from newsletters, delete unused apps, and organize your files. And whenever possible, go for multi-purpose items. Think, for example, furniture with storage. It helps you minimize the amount of stuff you own without sacrificing functionality. Next, don't feel like every corner of your space needs to be filled. Embrace negative space. An empty shelf, a clear counter, or an open floor can make your home feel more calm and spacious. And finally, minimalism is about more than just decluttering your stuff. It's about freeing up time for what really matters. When you're not constantly maintaining, organizing, or buying things, you get more time to spend on experiences, relationships, and, more importantly, self-care. Let me know in the comments which rule you're going to try out first, or if you have your own minimalism tips to share. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.